Hey guys, I am S. Dan Wolf, and welcome back to the channel, and I have got an awesome show lined up for you tonight, and we have got, I've actually got what's becoming a pretty all-star cast. I mean, tonight we've got Castaway and Red Mist and Miss Red Nebula, Deadeye Duck, Rudy, Siegfried, Stinger Winger, uh, I've got uh, the geek himself, uh, John T. from Geekism, I've got Wishing on a Wendy, and we have got some really cool pieces, really, really cool pieces that are starting to come out and flesh their way out. And one of the cool things that I've, I've heard um, John T. mention on the Bro Nation Discord, which if you're not a member of that, what are, like I've said before, what are you doing with your life? Get on there and, and join that server. Um, is one thing that a lot of these people are starting to understand is if you're wanting to stay true to that Planko style, that art style that we've all come to really love and really enjoy. Oh, watch out for the monorail. Um, it is not to go overboard on your textures because what John T was saying and what I really agree with is a lot of these Planko items, these actual frontier artist development uh, items are meant to be looked at from a distance that, you know, that draw distance. They're not like if you look at them, they, they really have a like a, a simple texture to them. They don't necessarily overdo it. And you can kind of you kind of start to notice on the on the, the TMTK workshop that I sh I'm sure a lot of you notice um, the one the, the, the items with the very, very high textures are quickly, it seems like becoming Un, you know, not as popular um, as our models that are rising to the top that have that follow a little bit more of that Planko uh, art style. So without further ado, let's go ahead and we will jump in and we will start off with Castaway. And I am loving, absolutely loving what he is doing with the dinosaurs. And check this out. We have got a Triceratops now. Check this little guy out. And even, I mean, even looking at this, this, you know, mixed in with his T-Rex, he's actually got a new one, an eating version. Like, those could pass for Planet Coaster. Like, this is the kind of texture that we're talking about. They're not overdone. You can't count every scale on the dinosaur. And, you know, that is what we mean by just a little more simplified texture, but it just fits in with this style of game so well. And uh, yeah, just big ups to Castaway. And he claims another thing on Bro Nation, I've seen him tell people and on Reddit, um, there are more dinosaurs to come. So very, very exciting stuff. Like I said in the last video, when we were introduced to the T-Rex, if this is the direction the dinosaurs and stuff are going, um, I am just really, really all for that. Really, really cool stuff. So let's make our way down through here. Um, the next one up is another one from Jaunty. And I like how Jaunty, like, see how you've got the little Geekism logo, but it's not like over the whole uh, the whole emblem, that is kind of what we like. One of the things about the, the Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 days is a lot of people would actually, um, like their whole logo would be over the item, and I want to be able to see uh, the actual item. I don't want to, I mean, I understand you want to, people to see your logo, but do it sensible like this. Like even look down here at all of his electric ones and his safety warnings. It's just a little tiny geekism, so you know that it's from him, and, you know, it's just simple. It's not in your face. And um, speaking of speaking of really cool items that, that are needed, those backstage items, Geekism has come up with a little, uh, little mop. And one thing I didn't get to show you last time was his little electric, danger electric shop, shock uh, sign. So mix that with your mop water and you've got some trouble. But, um, yeah, you know, Geekism continuing with the very, uh, the very cool um, needed. Watch out, there's a mop bucket here. A very cool back need, backstage needed type items. And uh, we are really, really cool. Really, really thankful for that. Up next, we've got Mr. Rudy Stroller. We, we, I was saying back in maybe episode two-ish that after his wheelchair come out, um, I was figuring a stroller was coming out. And what another thing that I, I didn't get to message him and thank him for this yet, but I was going to say it is so cool that he's made this uh, recolorable. So obviously, if we want us a little blue stroller... Or a little red stroller, or a little black stroller for the goth kids, or a little yellow stroller. He has got you covered, and uh, that is pretty cool. I think this will go into the Disney build. There's a lot of little spots on there. 
This guy better watch out and not run over these stinking strollers. A lot of stuff, a lot of different places on the Disney build um, that I want to uh, incorporate these in just to, you know, just like, like we've been saying with Rudy, just to uh, enhance that realism. So next thing up, Stinger Winger. I really, really like um, the Pegasus coming up here. But the only thing is I do notice like the draw distance, like right down here, like that is awesome. And even, you know, even really stone, um, you know, even that like c contending with the, uh, with the, with the Planko type of, uh, of, but see kind of once you back out a little ways, the, the wings disappear, not a big killer, like definitely didn't stop me from downloading it. But if you're thinking about downloading that, remember, like if you're out here or you're getting us, uh, you know, some of your farther away cinematic shots, the wings, uh, they will disappear on you, but nonetheless, very, uh, very awesome job. Uh, by Stinger Winger. And another one, um, actually, she has two that have come up in this. Let me see if my little things pull up here. Actually, actually, she may have three, but another rising star um, in the TMTK market is uh, Miss Red Nebula. And um, let's see, one of the first ones here that I noticed, I believe, over the weekend. Let's see if we can get this to load here. Yeah, check out this butterfly. Absolutely. This is your uh, larger I idol one. Absolutely keeping up with the Planko style. Beautiful wings, beautiful body composition. The text, I mean, this really looks like this could come out of like if if Planet Coaster did like a Wildwood Grove or like a a um like a magical forest type set or you know an enchanted forest dlc um this absolutely looks like she's even got a, like a little small flying one these absolutely look like they could come from a professional frontier pack and another one you know just while we've um while we've got um some of her builds up on here we'll just continue with that while i see it look we've got a waving cosmic cow Little sign. Very, very cool. Whoops. Very, very cool. Following up on that waving gulpy. <laughs> I just love that. It, it, this is this is like this is like Miss Red Nebula like used to work for Frontier or something and was able to retain a bunch of their assets or like stuff that they haven't got around to doing and has started putting it in the game because these are so true to the to the whole Planko vibe. And uh, like I said, just just really, really, really cool. And uh, so so big shout out to Miss Red Nebula. And uh, we will go ahead and move on here. I see one, another one that I have on the list here pulled up. It is another one by Castaway. And it is the like the adventure crate. And I think it, it when, like when Geekism is talking about stuff that is in line with the whole Planko model and your whole Planko deal. Um, I just think that this really screams out to it. I mean, look at the, as far as the rope texture and the whole box texture, like it's just, it is, it is completely Planko. Like that definitely could have come out of one of their Western scenes or even like a, a port scene or a pirate scene. Um, just, just really, really cool. Really, really cool on that. And, um, Good on you, Castaway, for keeping these type of items like that you might not think you need until you get into that exact build where you're like, man, I wish I could have some crates or I'm trying to do this warehouse build or this this seaport build. And I didn't have this on the list, but also his other little adventure crate right here that has like the little animal breathing holes. Watch it hop here. <laughs> you could definitely that would definitely be like a cool like a, a jungle cruise type of, uh, you know, if you were redoing that ride, like a jungle cruise type of animation. Really, really cool on that. I like that. All right, so let's see if this will let us go down farther on our list. I don't want to go too fast because we'll lose some of this stuff. Let's see if this will load up pretty quick for us. 
And you guys, I know, like I said, I was I talked to Shantae about it, and she was saying that they're they're working on fixes for this. They know that bigger parks are bogged down. I know a lot of you a lot of you guys wish I would just do this like just in a big just open park that's grass, but a lot of times it's funner if we have stuff to like people walking by and you know doing it on these actual maps just gives us a a little better perspective than me just pulling these pieces up like in a big open field. So that's kind of why I do this. It's just it, it kind of gives some gives some character to our little show here in the story and uh, so yeah we'll just we'll just kind of keep that going another one by dead eye duck he has brought in and started working on a larger rock piece and one thing that first struck me about this piece is an underwater piece especially if you needed like an underwater coral like a coral reef type piece section or if you're doing an aquarium that is the first thing that popped up when i saw this piece come out is or or like you know um, even like a shore uh type piece or like an ocean piece that is definitely what popped into my head uh first so definitely good eye on that dead eye duck appreciate that rock um, another one by Red Mist here I've kind of been following over the weekend and, uh, and on Twitter is, look, not only now do we have a little shirt rack for your shops and your little storefronts, but check this out. We've got shirts! <laughs> These are awesome. And actually, he has a whole variety of them. I downloaded all of them. I guess they all didn't come through um, before I started making the video. But he's got, you know, Chief Beef and Cosmic Cow. And it's just got a whole lineup of actual uh, shirts and merch. So that is going to be really, really cool. And make, you know, just like I said, make your storefronts just totally more believable now. And uh, that is just the kind of awesome stuff that I knew uh, would start popping up. So really, really cool on that. And the guy just walked through and busted our shirt up. But yeah, so uh, Red Mist, really, really cool on that one. And the one we're getting down towards the end here, but I definitely wanted to show um, Wishing on a Wendy has definitely got more of your interior needs covered. Check this out. This looks like it may just be a regular white cup. <laughs> I don't think so. Watch when we get to turning this here. <laughs> make that blue. Actually, we'll make that blue. We'll make this white. Observe. Planko branded coffee cups. So that is pretty stinking cool. Especially for your little cafes and your little restaurants. And then, of course, if, uh, you know, I know that, you know, uh, Wish You Gonna Wendy probably thought of this too. Remember how everybody usually complains about the Planet Coaster logo being slapped on everything? Well, there actually is a, uh, there's a, uh, the, they've got a version on here as well that is, uh, that right here, it's actually, um, it's, it's just the souvenir mug. That's just your plane. You don't have to worry about the, uh, about the logo or anything being on it. So, they have, uh. Wishing on a Wendy has got you covered on that as well. And another thing I wanted you guys to go in and take a look at when you get a chance, but as far as like your interior exhausts go, um, Siegfried has started an entire um, just like ductwork, uh, you know, uh, pieces that really, really another thing, like I said, with this stuff just adds to that realism. And I mean, there are all types of like this right here is just one piece, the exhaust fan, but there's all types of, um, you know, just different little uh, 45 degree angles and straight piece angles. And um, I just thought that was really cool that somebody um, is kind of starting to take on that type of stuff as well, like actually getting us air conditioning and uh, in ventilation type pieces. Uh, put together in here so yeah guys anyways that is all that I had for this evening a lot of pieces like I said there this stuff is is becoming more 
and more awesome every time I do one of these uh, reviews. And uh, definitely, it's like I told you guys that we're worried about like the the, the workshop getting clogged with the with like a bunch of unusable unusable stuff. And it's like I said, the cream always rises to the top. Of course, you're gonna have some little weird pieces on there, like I've said before, or pieces that people might you know like be testing right now and that, all that stuff. But as far as most of it goes, and the stuff that I've been able to make videos and showcase on uh it you know it's looking awesome so keep the pieces coming don't forget to smash that like button if you end up enjoying this video and subscribe for more planet coaster content and like always thanks for stopping by and hanging out with you boy and i will catch you in the next video we'll see you